What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, we're gonna go over Windows 10. You're here because you wanna see performance increase in your computer, whether it's a laptop, desktop, whatever kind of computer it is. By disabling these settings in Windows 10, you will see a massive gain in performance. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. All right, guys, I'm going to make this as quick, short, and painless for you and me as I possibly can. That way, you guys know what to turn off when you, you know, you're doing what it is that you're trying to game or edit videos or whatever it is, or if you just want to see a performance increase because you have a potato PC and you didn't know that you had this stuff on and by turning it off, it's going to, you know, increase your performance. So the very first thing that you guys are going to do, okay, is you're going to click down here on to your start bar and you're going to click on the cog wheel. And when you guys click on the cog wheel, you guys are going to get all this stuff that pops up right here. Click on the gaming tab. When you guys click on the gaming tab, you're going to have game bar. Turn this off. Turn everything off off that's in the game bar captures turn everything off that is in captures select the video frame rate to be 30 select the maximum record length to be 30 minutes and then video quality to be standard go down to captures or xbox uh, game mode turn this off disable this setting this does add absolutely nothing it might actually hinder you if you're on a lower end system and if you're on a real high end system like what i have that's over here or you know not real high end but a decently nice sufficient computer um this actually will give you stuttering and do does other things that's bad it used to be good and then it was bad and then it used to be good and then it was bad but just just turn this off right now okay um, the next thing that we're gonna go to guys is going to be the ease of access you guys are going to go to display right here turn all of this off show animations on Windows transparency on Windows uh, automatically hide scroll bars in Windows turn this off show notifications for five seconds uh, show desktop background image make sure that this one is on right here okay? Okay, don't have no slideshow going for your background or anything like that that takes resources. So just have it on either a static color or just a regular picture, okay? The next thing that you want is cursor and pointer. Turn this one off where it shows show visual feedback around the touch points when I touch the screen, turn this off. Magnifier, disable everything that is here. The only thing that you want to be checked is smooth edges of images and text. Make sure this is the only thing that is checked in here. High contrast, turn this off. Narr narrator, turn everything off that is within here uh, the only thing that i have that's on here selected is here when toggle keys like caps lock and num lock are turned on or off so if you have your headphones on you know if you'll hit that button you'll hear a little beep or something uh, the next thing that you have is audio Close captions, turn all this off, keep it on default. Speech, turn this off. Keyboard, turn all of this stuff off. You don't need any of this stuff. Mouse, turn this off. Eye control, disable this if you have that enabled. The next thing that you guys are gonna have is Cortana. If you have anything that's in here to enable or disable Cortana, take it off. Get rid of Cortana, you do not need it and she just takes up resources for no reason, okay? Uh, into the search thing, permissions and search history, turn this off and then turn everything else off that's in here. Okay. The next thing that you're going to go to is going to be privacy. Now, this is going to be where you guys are going to see the most performance gain and stability out of your system by turning all this off. So first thing is going to be general, disable all of it. Speech, disable it. Ink and typing, turn it off. Diagnostics, disable everything right here, okay? Turn all of this stuff off right here, all right? Activity history, turn all of this off right here. Location, disable it. Camera and microphone, these are going to be the only two things that you want to actually have on in your computer so if you're streaming or gaming you want your camera on or you know your microphone so turn these on and then down here within the actual sp uh, app specific you could turn on what which one actually has control and access to your microphone and to your camera and stuff so turn these on and turn this off accordingly all right the next thing is notifications turn this off account info turn it off calendar all this stuff turn all this stuff off okay and the very biggest thing that you're going to see out of disabling all of these things is going to be bad background apps this one right here guys turn this off let apps run in background and make sure every single app is disabled you do not want apps running in the background taking up resources needlessly and pointlessly they are consuming stuff from your resource and your uh, from your cpu and your ram so especially if you're gaming or if you have a low-end potato pc you don't need them running if you want to load these apps up click on the exe load that that app up and it'll load specifically for you by just having this running needlessly in the background it consumes resources and we're turning this off so that we see a performance gain. 
And the next thing that we're going to do, guys, is update and security. Windows update, make sure that you guys run this, run your update, and get all your updates. Make sure that you have the very latest update of Windows, okay? All right, and then the next thing that we're going to do, guys, is we are, so if you're on Wi-Fi or if you're on a laptop or even if you're on, gaming on a desktop like this, like I'm on one gig fiber op, I have a fiber op connection, but I still disable Windows to be able to update and how much bandwidth actually is you utilized for Windows to update itself when it is doing updates, all right? So you definitely want to pause updates, and the more that you click this, it'll go all the way up to like four or five weeks, so like click the pause update button after you update your computer now make sure that you do all the updates restart your computer all the stuff that you have to do okay and then you know pause the updates for three or four weeks and then come in here once a week and do it yourself all right go into the advanced options right here click this button for update notifications turn this one on turn everything else off the next thing that you're going to do is click on delivery optimization this link right here you're going to then click on advanced options after you get into the delivery optimizations go down to advanced options right here click on this one click all these boxes i want you to check all these boxes and then take these sliders and slide them all the way down here to the left as far as you possibly can this is going to limit how much bandwidth is actually utilized and reserved for updating windows now you could turn this up when you are updating your computer or something like that but i don't even do that because i mean it's a, it's a windows update and five percent of my one gig fiber connection is uh, more than enough to be able to download a windows update hella fast so i uh, definitely turn all this down and limit how much windows can utilize sending resources out and, and you know utilizing uh, how much network it is actually using so turn all this down all right and then go to Windows Security, update all your stuff right here, make sure all your computer is nice and updated, go to your backup tab right here, troubleshoot tab, anything that is in here that you guys can disable, disable all of this stuff. You don't need any of the stuff running, okay? There's absolutely no reason for any of this stuff to run. The next thing that you guys are going to do after you do all of that, you close out of that because we're done now, and this is going to be the last thing that you guys have to do, and we'll finish up right here. Go down into your taskbar, right click on it, click task manager. When you guys click task manager, you're going to get the task manager little pop up right here. Go and you can see these tabs that are at the top. Click the startup one right here. The only one, the only thing that you want to start up is either going to be like, if you have a mouse, you know, a gaming mouse or another mouse like that, you want your G hub or your Corsair or whatever it is, whatever type of mouse it is from whatever company make sure that that is enabled okay and then disable every other program that there is do not let any program start up with windows when you're turning your computer on whether you're rebooting it for a restart or you're hard, uh, doing a, a cold fresh start in the morning or whatever it may be having these programs start and load with windows will hinder the process of how fast you are able to get your computer to boot into windows okay so disable all of these programs you do not need them the only ones that i have turned on as you guys can see is going to be my stream deck so when it loads my stream deck is automatically up i can hit a button and it'll load up all kinds of other programs by just me pushing a button on my stream deck if you guys don't have a stream deck don't even worry about what i just said there but my my g hub for my mouse uh my i IQ for my other mouse and my lighting effects it's in, within my Corsair uh, fans and stuff like that uh, everything else guys is disabled my Adobe is enabled because Adobe is uh, a hindrance of a program to disable its updating thing and then when you want to go use it it's just it's better for me to keep it on so if you don't have any of that or you don't need any of that just disable it is what i'm saying anything else you guys could see that's in here is all turned off my discord anything that's on here cc cleaners you know uh adobe other stuff like that now i do have my sounds enabled so that they do boot when my computer boots um my g hub my stream deck and then my iq everything else is turned off for programs okay so if this has helped any of you guys, you know, figure out the things that you should turn off. This is just a quick little rundown. I try to make it as quick and easy as and painless for me and for you as I possibly can. I have tons of other videos that's on my site if you want to get into super optimization for Windows 10 and get hella deep into like registry edits and almost hacking Windows 10 basically is what you're doing and turn it into a monster gaming machine. Whether you're on a potato laptop or you're on a, 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 a big, you know, eight core 16 thread like what I have here, it does 
does not matter what your computer is. Some of the guides I have helps a lot of people and you know, other people just not so much because they already have monstrous systems. So if this has helped any of you guys do all the stuff to help me out, click on the little buttons, like, follow, subscribe, go through my channel, check me out over on twitch.tv slash lockouts. What is he? That's me. You know, you can come over there and hang out with me in my discord and chat with me live and all that other good stuff that you guys got to do. And I'm done talking now. So like, follow, subscribe. I'm lockouts. Peace. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time.